Damn it. Into All right. Oh, they can see me. Give us some sign of pop up. Some sign of pop up. What's going on, on everybody? What's going on? What's going on? Use the use of power, water, and anything else that creates carbon pollution. Use bureaucracies to make stupid decisions outside of democratic processes. If you ever start popping up real quick, real quick. And finally, implement policies meant to incentivize a reduced population. Controlling our every impact on the environment means controlling every aspect of our lives. What we eat. Wait for y'all to start popping up. Talk about this doc real quick. Docky. Yo, what's up? Did y'all like the video I, I posted today, bro? This nigga stupid, bro. I'm over here. Matter of fact, I'm streaming on... I'm streaming on the uh, the iPad Pro. I just keep putting my freaking hands on the damn camera. I figured, let me try this shit out. Let me see how, how it looks. It looks dope, though. It's like, it dope, right? This nigga, Serge, you're stupid. Yo, Serge, we should do that Zoom, man. Tomorrow, what's up? About the stream too on Twitch. I don't know. I'm streaming here. That's why we need to do these streams on here, man. Yeah, man. We gotta do. We gotta do a stream. Oh, man, let me sit up. It looks so weird because it got this big ass screen. They got me right here. I just finished editing another video, the unboxing to this. Um, I don't know, I might put it up after this live stream. Yo, y'all already know that Surge. I am going to get the keyboard. I'm going to get that, um, excuse me, I'm going to get the, uh, the new keyboard is about to drop, or already dropped. It's back ordered though. It's like back ordered to the 19th. Okay, one thing I don't like about streaming is <laughs> this guy, bro. The only thing I don't like about streaming on the tablet so far, I could notice, is just the text is too small. It's bad enough I could barely see the text on here. Rail, what up, bro? Says, yeah, dope. Yeah, it was dope, bro. Thanks, bro. Thank you, 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 bro. Oh, I can't go back on the comments. Okay. How's that RSO working out? Good. I just actually did a framework update for it. My bad. I'm over here watching this doc again. It is mad loud. I'm going to brush up on it. You got the 11-inch. This guy is crazy. Yeah, I got the 12.9. I think I should have bought the 11-inch. I think the 12.9 is too big. As a matter of fact, the 12.9 is kind of like if I took my um macbook pro screen and just ripped it out that's what this feels like right now it feels like the uh that screen i could i don't think i could ever get used to streaming on a damn tablet this shit looks crazy i feel it feels weird like super weird it's super weird i'm making a lot Yo, Serge, what's up, man? What you doing, bro? Serge already dipped, I think. Ugh. So, yeah, y'all go subscribe to my boy Serge YouTube channel. The boy's working. I need him to work some more. He fronting. He got to work, man. All right, so... Who's in here right now that did watch the documentary? The uh, the one that that. Oh, shit, hold on. Hold on. 
The one I'm talking about is this one. That one. Unseen enemy. Did you did you guys watch that one? If so, say yes or some shit. But yeah, I love the RX Wars, that bitch. Uh, where is that? Oh, shit, it's all the way over there. I, I think I'm gonna switch. I think I'm just gonna switch back to streaming on my phone because this feels weird. This shit is heavy, and I gotta hold this shit up the whole time. Maybe if I had the um keyboard that comes with this, that it, it holds it in place, I probably would've been okay. But this thing feels weird. How's the audio? The audio's supposed to be better. The mics on this MacBook Pro is supposed to be better. You didn't watch it? Oh, man. I think we're going to have to do this stream over again, then. Because I don't think a lot of people watched it. This shit's going to annoy and carry this shit. Why did I... Why? Why? Why did I decide to stream with this stupid-ass tablet? I should have just chilled. Yeah, I don't, I don't like streaming on this, bro. I'm about to switch to my iPhone and call it right. Oh, yeah. What y'all to, man? It's Friday. I thought today was Saturday. I was lost on my days. I was lost. Jermaine just did a live stream. Jermaine just did a live stream. I was supposed to live. I was actually supposed to do this live stream an hour ago, but Jermaine was live and I said, fuck it. I told him, bro, do you think I'll be on after you? You don't ever want to compete with your people, you know? Yo, hit the like button as y'all walk in. Literally walk in. Yeah, I guess a lot of people don't want to talk about that doc. The stream is trash right now. I'm about to dub this stream. I ain't gonna hold y'all. It's too late. That's a conversation people would like to probably have during the day. And I, I think I've gotten so used to the quality of me streaming with the computer and my camera that it's hard to go back to this. <laughs> it really is. It really is. It's still that same wine that I that I had from the last time on the live stream. So yeah, I did. I, I updated. There you go, bro. You did. No, I said. Fred the Godson did die. He died, what was it, yesterday? Day for yesterday? Rest in peace, Fred the Godson. Death gotta be easy, because life is hard. I mean, I'm grateful for my life, whatever it is. But I ain't gonna hold you with the shit that's going on in the world today. I don't know. It's pretty difficult to have, uh, you know, a clear mind to the bullshit, you know what I mean? But yeah, Fred the Godson did pass. I don't know the detail on um, if they had him intubated or not, but they probably did. They probably did have him intubated. 
Kevin, what up, man? Hit the like button, hit the like button. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't looked at that bottle since I got it. I don't know. Uber Eats was good today. Word. The out of the shadow shit was crazy, right? Yeah, man. It's because it's so nuts. Like, how it's literally what old boy said. They programmed you since you was a child. To believe a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's why people are so blinded to what's going on right now. A lot of calls. A lot of calls. Oh, you talking about Uber? Our little man was mom. He'll be here Sunday. Can't wait. Nah, I haven't started. I haven't started. I said it's dead though. My bad, y'all. All right, so for you to watch it, you go to my YouTube channel, you go to where it says community, and on there, I have the list of shit that I wanted you to watch. I'm gonna add two more docs. Did I add them shits already? Let me check. 30 minute docs. There was one that I had on, um, There was one I wanted you guys to watch, but it looks like uh, the dude's getting fucked with on um, on YouTube because they took it down, but I did save it. Like, I recorded. I'm not going to upload it, though, because if they took him down, they'll take me down. So I can't afford that right now. I mean, 150 with grub hub and a few hours. That's what's up, bro. So, yeah, if you go to my, um, if you go to my community tab, I have the docs there. Alex with GoPro cam you shot your vlog with. Uh, it wasn't a GoPro camera. It's a, um, Sony camera. It's called the Sony RXO. I did an unboxing of that camera. You can check it out. Yo, yo, how was my day? Uh, productive. I got up, worked out, edited a vlog, shot a video, edited that. I just edited that video. And yeah, it's almost done rendering. It's actually rendering right now. Once it renders, I'm going um, to upload it. Tomorrow will probably be up or tonight. Which one? It's tonight or tomorrow? It is a short, short video, maybe five minutes, five minute unboxing. Nothing crazy. Okay, I see it. Thanks. No problem, bro. Enjoy that. It's, it's actually really good. I watched both of them vlogs like maybe five times now. Really good. How am I holding up, bro? I'm good, man. How are you, man? Everything's good, man. Figured I'm gonna be indoors because it's raining all day. So I figured I'm going to be indoors, might as well be on some productiveness, you know? So that's what I'm doing now. Hanging in there, nice. Yo, don't you hate when you told me? Uh, okay. Alex, you cut your hair. Yeah, man. This is old, though. This is, like, very old already. Three days, maybe. Yo, so how many of you guys are receiving 
unemployment, like people that actually work. How many of you guys are receiving unemployment? Elizabeth, what's up? What's up? So for the people who did watch the the doc, I'm I'm assuming you've seen Out of the Shadows and not Enemy of the Unseen Enemy, really. We delayed in Indiana. For real? How how backed up is it? Oh shit. How backed up is it? Yeah, yeah, I know in New York, it's uh, four million people already uh, applied for it. I mean, I don't know how it works. All right, Meg. Big Mig. So what it is, the reason why you're getting a thousand is because I know the federal government is throwing an extra six hundred on top of whatever you're getting. So yeah, you're you're basically getting maybe four hundred dollars from unemployment and then the government's throwing an extra six to match it. So that's what they're giving. That's the reason why a lot of these people don't want to go back to work. Because you got to remember, a lot of these people get $15 an hour, right? So they like, damn, they giving me close to 1000 a week just to stay home? Fuck that, I ain't going back to work. So that's why people ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? I found out about this yesterday because I ain't really like digging too deep with that stuff. When I found out, I was like, no wonder nobody want to go back to work. But it's like, bro, what you're not thinking about is this economy is going to crash, like... Right now, you may not be feeling it because, you know what I'm saying? You're just receiving, receiving, receiving. But at some point, we're going to pay for this shit. And I'm talking about pay for it in the sense where taxes are going to go up. Prices for a lot of things we used to see for cheap are going to go up, bro. And people don't see that shit. You know what I mean? Andy, what up? Yeah, man, I've grown on style clothes like that. It's probably in the pay area. I don't need that money. I'm ready to work. I'm more worried about the kids, man. I want the kids to go back to school, man, because they're not learning nothing. I'm sorry. Them, them e-learning shits, I, I don't feel like it's... I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like... I don't feel like they really learn this shit. Yeah, man. Clock, yo, clockwork, you dead. Uh, you right. Food is going to be pricey. A lot of shit is going to go up. I got five. You got five what? Nothing is ever for free. I'm telling you, people having a field day right now, <clears throat> people having a field day right now, enjoying this little free money, and it's not free, let's just put it like that, it ain't free. But I'm telling you, the price is a lot. MTA, with the losses they taking right now, I guarantee you them prices of, of that morning rise going to be $3, $3.25. They're going to shoot all that shit up. All of it. They gotta make they gotta make that money back somehow. And it starts with what they price this shit at. You know what I'm saying? That remote learning is hard for my kid also. Plus, yeah, learning nothing teachers. Facts. I mean, uh, granted, we have to show the responsibility and, and, and teach our kids. But we not teachers. We don't we don't master in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, again. We could give them but so much. 
obviously these people are teachers and putting those positions because they know how to manipulate the kid to learn. You know what I'm saying? Like, I keep it a buck with you. I I got a short fuse. You know what I'm saying? I really do. I got a short fuse. So it's time I try to explain to my son the math portion of things. And I've tried to break it down in so many ways, even with showing him and say he be low. So I'm like, well, hold on. So then how you do this in, in school? You know what I'm saying? So it, 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 it's, it's, it's a little bit of a headache. I ain't gonna hold you. I mean, granted, it's, it's for the my kid and all that, but we need him back in school. It's obvious there's a reason why this school, you know what I'm saying? There's teachers. These people get paid to do this shit. It's because they're professionals at this shit. We not. You know what I'm saying? How expensive can things get? Very expensive. Very expensive. What the fuck is that? That's a fact. Teachers should get paid more. And I'm going to tell you right now that this this is this epidemic just showed us how full of shit our own governments are, how full of shit um, um, um you know these people are because they talk all this shit about how they don't get the fundings, they don't got the money to pay these teachers, these these firemen, these policemen. And it's like when something like this go down, all of a sudden this money just comes out of nowhere. The same money you've been withheld withholding against our teachers, against them cops, against those fire fire um uh firefighters. But when you got something like this go down, y'all got funds. I it just doesn't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like for a teacher, you know what I'm saying? What's the main thing they complain about? We don't get paid enough. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't get paid enough, I, you know what I'm saying? Even though you got to give it your all, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to our future. Because these kids are our future. They're going to help this world move and go around when they get older, right? So I feel like when you're working, you should always put your 110% in whatever you do. But I could, always, I could understand where they're coming from too. It's like, you know, it ain't easy dealing with maybe 10 to 15 kids in one class setting. Then you don't know which one is the ones that are assholes. You know what I'm saying? You still got to deal with that on top of the little bit of pay you're getting. So I get it. It's a lot of work for a teacher. Again, that's the profession you chose. But you know what I'm saying? I, I think that if you... Well, they yell because the rats outside. But um, I think, I think, this is just me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm wrong. But I think teachers will give that much more, you know what I'm saying? They'll put that much more work in to teaching our kids, our students, you know what I'm saying? Yes, the, the students actually, uh, because they, they'll be more passionate about it. Like, yeah, you know, I'm making great money out of it. They'll have a better attitude going to work and, and teaching these kids, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man, with the system, the system has always been fucked up, though. That's the crazy part, like. You know, but only time will tell. This is my teacher. I try to help him, but I cannot do it. Yeah. Pass the course on to the customer. You know, you could call. What, ASPC is giving out dog food for free or some shit? I didn't know about that. I didn't hear about that. Well, that's dope. I didn't know about that. That's sick. Yeah, man. Do you want the number? Oh, uh, yeah. Give it to me.
You have three great things and eat a lot. You just need to call it and make it. Okay, you got an appointment? And dogs and cats get the virus. Uh, they also get cancer too. They also get cancer. They got seizures and all that. That's how my 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 pit bulls died. They got seizures and stuff. If I spoke to Jermaine, yeah, yeah, we spoke. We spoke um earlier today. We spoke earlier today. Um, it was kicking on the phone for a little while. That's dope. What? How many pounds of the bag, and how many cans are they giving? If you don't, if they told you that type of information, I don't know if they did, but D, what's poppin', boy? I ain't even peed that. What's good, my dude? Yeah, me and Jermaine kicked it today, whatever. We talking about, like, everything, like... It's crazy, like, what's up? When we chop it up, we talk about what's going on in the world today and how we feel like things are going to transition from one thing to another, because... Remember, they're giving people this money, whatever it is. But remember, there's a lot of people that's paying way more rent and got way more responsibility to take care of than your average person. Again, you know... I don't know. That's why I said this unemployment shit for a lot of people is not going to work out for. Because you got a lot of people that have to pay rent. They got to pay for, for food. Because they ain't on that, on, on no food stamps or none of that shit. They taking shit out their savings on top of whatever they're getting from, you know, um, unemployment. And that's why a lot of people don't put in that perspective. Like, put it, they, see, because a lot of people, you got to remember, we live in a society today that people judge shit off of what they got and how their life and their household really is. So the thing is, when you don't got too much responsibility, you don't think about what responsibilities other people got. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the problem right now is that people are sitting there and looking at the situation and standing back and saying, well, I think everybody be okay with this, with this unemployment money. But it's like, no, because you got people out there that got car payments. They got kids they got to feed the... You know what I'm saying? That they, that they paying for that shit out of their pocket. They got to feed themselves. They still got to buy, buy buy stuff for the house. Toilet tissue. You know what I mean? Body wash. Toothpaste. That shit all starts to add up. You understand what I'm saying? Car notes. You know what I mean? These people ain't stopping... They ain't stopping nobody from getting their money. So it's just like people don't look at it like... Insurance. All that shit piles up. And a lot of people already got budgets on what they get from work to put towards that, you know what I'm saying? To to them to, to what they gotta pay off. So a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people don't look at the situation the way the person that's in that situation is. You know what I'm saying? So they look at it from one one, one window. And it's like you can't be that selfish. Like people gotta go back to work. You know what I'm saying? Like people gotta go back to work. So, it's just whack, man. It's just whack. You know what I'm saying? I feel for a lot of people. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are going to go through a, a, a big depression. Because like I said, you got a lot of people that was not even trying to touch their savings. And now they got to dig in their savings because of this bullshit. You get what I'm saying? And it's whack because it's like you worked your ass off to have this savings to stack up, stack up for your own personal reasons. To, be, to buy a house. Or your favorite car, whatever, whatever. Put it towards your kids' uh, tuition, whatever it could be. And now you got to go backwards because you got to take money out because of this stupid shit that's going on right now. Alex, for you, is this worse than... Wait, hold on. Before I read your shit, I'm sorry. Yo, Al, 
bro. Came home. Nah, my brother was supposed to come home. He was supposed to be home today. But he ended up getting some infection due to the food they fed him. Some E. coli shit. So he got him on antibiotics. He won't be there another week, whatever. But he was supposed to come home today, actually. Appreciate you for asking. Word. I paid 4000 damn so what? Uh, it's this little money. That's crazy. Jermaine's crazy, but I like that dude. Because he keeps it real. Jermaine, <clears throat> Jermaine be all over the place. One day he, he, he fucks with Trump, then other, other days, I don't know. He's a funny dude, though. And I get it, because, you know, it's, a lot of people don't want to talk about that politics shit on here. I don't even like this shit on here. But, you know, it's the reality of what we're living in right now. You know what I'm saying? Unemployment is only for three months. Yeah. It's only for three months. But, I don't know, man. Shit is crazy. This is why I kept paying my bills, cable, phone, half friend. That's what I'm saying. Like, we had a lot of people talking about, oh, you know, I'm saving a lot of money right now because I ain't paying no bills. It's like, bro. Like, you got, they just freezing your shit. You know what I'm saying? You still got to pay that back. You still got to pay that back. So. Today, Ramadan started. I'm a little mad. I wanted to do that shit. A little 30-day Ramadan. So, I'm, I'm going to start it tomorrow. I'm going to do a Ramadan for 29 days. Ramadan. I ain't Muslim, but. You know what I'm saying? I figured, let me let me join in. You know what I'm saying? I like fasting. Fasting is fun. So, yeah, you said, Alice, you think that... Alice, for you, this is worse than 9-11. Um... Living both, 9-11 was scarier because... We didn't know what the fuck was going on. You know what I'm saying? We didn't know what the fuck was going on when I left. We didn't know who was the enemy. We didn't know if niggas were going to come in the hood and shoot shit up. So as far as the scare factor, it's not. But mental-wise, like what it's doing to the mental for a lot of people, including myself, is worse. Because you're taking away what people do with their normal life. At least with 9-11, shit was still open. You you still have access to go to places. You ain't have no limitations. With this, it's more taxing because it feels like you're grounded for something you ain't even do and you have no control over your situation. Because this situation right now is pretty much, you listen to us. If you don't, you go to jail or you won't get tickets. And it's like, is it worth it? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like socialism. This is legit socialism at its best right now. You know what I'm saying? Rubber band man, what up? Sin says, hell yes it is. Facts. I saw a dude doing over each other. Really? That's crazy. And portion. And... It's, it's not even that. This is going to do what 9-11 did to people back in the days. That it took some time for people to actually get away from it. But it put people in that scarcity mindset that anybody with a beard was pretty much the enemy to them. Right? So with this shit right here, practicing uh, social distancing, practicing, not even practicing, just putting that overall fear of you don't know who has the virus. So if you walk next to that person, you got to be careful. Because even like the other day when I was working, motherfucker, I had my mask on. Shorty had her mask on. And I'm walking towards the direction where she's at. And she had to see how she like moved. Like, like oh my God, I'm scared. Like, what? So it kind of threw me in a weird space. Like, damn, this is the reality we're going to have to live in for a little while because people were fucking still paranoid with this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? My prayers go. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, Johnny. Trying to 
trying to put the hit on him, bro. It's deeper than that. Like I said, Bill Gates funded that 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 lab this where it came out from. He's a part of this whole mess, bro. Since you're following the deep state check out. He's exposing all of it. I'm gonna check it out. Well, that's you too? The young guy? Let me see. Let me see. Young what? I'm gonna check him out right now. Subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I like. Uh... Oh, the kid with the dreads? I think I've watched some of his shit before. Let me see. Podcast, I mean, excuse me, live stream. See, when dudes got huge followings like this, I feel like that's when you got to step up your quality. I'm already, I already could tell him to hate his, his audio quality. He ain't using a real mic. That shit throws me off. I hate shitty quality, bro. Like, that's one thing I'm going to tell you right now. If a YouTuber... Oh, fuck. If a YouTuber is pumping out some shit and the content is good, I fuck with it. But if the audio is trash, I can't watch it. And if the image is trash, it's shaky and all that, I can't watch it. I can't sit through it. That's why I said, when you see me, when I film whatever it is, like, even with the video I pumped out today, I was mad the way the audio sounded. I hated that shit. I was about to scrap the whole video, and I said, you know what? Let me just put it out there. I just want to put it out there. You know what I'm saying? The shaky footage. I hate all that. Because I feel like you should always try to be pumping out the best shit. And, um, yeah, I didn't I didn't like the video I pumped. You know what I'm saying? I was a little disappointed with that work. But I, the way I criticize my shit is the same way I criticize other people's content. Like, I care for that shit. A lot of people, they don't. A lot of y'all don't even give a fuck about that shit, but I do. When I look at videos, I like quality, bro. Do uh, you think they really doing something making deliveries in the Tesla? Uh, they could make some money off of Tesla. Right now, I'll tell you right now, whoever got a car and they doing deliveries, you making bread. One, because you're not dealing with traffic. And two, you're not dealing with parking. There's bread, bro. There's money to be made out there. WM, WMD, who's that? Who's that? You don't take it personal. It's better safe than sorry. Don't say what person you're talking about. I just moved to Georgia for a little while. <laughs> bro, I miss the gyms, bro. Major boy. Did you get my thousand dollars that I gave you? Well, you gave me a thousand dollars. You gave me a thousand dollars. I didn't get no money. Appreciate you, bro. Marty, what up, bro? You got the nose too, brother. No, I'm going to check him out. Most better. I just know I got to watch it and hear his shit with the volume low. Weapons of mass destruction. Still flying in August. Yes, I'm still flying. Oh, God, 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 God willing. I just don't want to go to California and it's a half-assed version of what I was expecting because of the fucking virus. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, damn, the year I'm going is the year where everything is screwed. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, fuck, man, I can't catch a break, my nigga. It's crazy, man. But hopefully everything goes, turns out good, you know?
That's a good two miles. Do cloud chasing, probably, right? Not gonna be the same, bro. Oh, yeah. It's canceled. I'm trying to have a good spirit about it. Because, like I said, once the hot weather hits, like, once it's hot, a lot of shit's gonna change. Because, like, I told people, like, right now, y'all might be scared, right? But after what the scientists said yesterday on, 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 on the briefing they had yesterday, shit Trump pumped out, from what I told y'all, the same shit I was telling y'all, that this virus pretty much dies instantly with heat and humidity. We're about to go into that season. You understand what I'm saying? So that means once we get into that season, that means the cases are definitely going to drop because if the virus is dying, how is it going to spread? You understand what I'm saying? So you got to be in direct sunlight, humidity, and heat, you know what I'm saying, for this shit to die. So we're going to see, man. Damn, he said, who you telling life a lot? I was going to move to Cali then. That Rona hit, man, bro. No beaches. I think the beaches be open by by the summer. Cause like I said, I'm gonna be at Venice Beach. You understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna be at Venice. They gotta have that shit open. Oh my god. You know he was being fucking stupid, right? He he was being sarcastic to the reporter, bro. I knew that. I knew once once he said that, I said it's over. They're gonna kill him. The media's gonna kill him because the media don't like him. Once I once I seen that shit, I said they're gonna try to toast this shit. But he don't give a fuck. I even joined in on the phone. I said they want to troll. Let's troll. I said let me like matter of fact. Let me show you what I did earlier. <laughs> show you right now. Why is my shit tweaking, bro? Let me see. You know what I'm saying? I'm being stupid, just like everybody else. When you get the Cali highlight, your boy, I know. All the spots got you, bro. Trust me, once I touch down, y'all gonna know. Who be chilling with Floyd? Who be chilling with Floyd? Who chose with Floyd? Yo, that Dr. Fauci nigga is not it, bro. He's a spooky man, bro. I don't trust that dude as far as I could throw him, bro. I do not trust that man for shit. At all. He, you you can see the sneakiness in his face, bro. When he's put on the spot, you can tell by his shoulders that he's bullshitting about something. I could read, I could read tension, but that dude off, bro. Trust me. Definitely. And if we get Biden, we don't. Biden's another retard, bro. Biden is not it. Trust me. Let's talk about the documentary. I don't know who watched it. Like we got 29 viewers in here, but I don't know who watched it. Enemy of the unknown enemy. Did y'all watch it? Who watched it? Okay, we got some people watching. Yeah, recipes with Fred the Godson. Haven't seen it that. Damn, man, you gotta watch it, man. Damn, bro. All right, so for the people who watched it, what do you think? How, how do you feel about it? Write it down below. What, what what was your initial impressions by it when watching it? What what did, what did you come out thinking about it? Like, what was your thoughts on it? What are you doing? Oh, she's not. She's not paying attention. The community tab. 
You go to my channel, you tap on community, and you can see it there. I got, uh, I want you to watch both. Uh, the Unknown Enemy and the uh, Out of the Shadows. The Out of the Shadows is crazy. All the pedophiles that's in Hollywood, all the pedophiles is pretty much in our government. It's crazy, yo. See, that's why I said I wanted to make sure y'all watch that so we could talk about it. So, like, it's going to be hard for us to talk about it. And y'all didn't watch it. So, what we'll do is I'll do this, right? I'll give y'all one more day. Not even. I'll give y'all to Sunday to watch it and then we can talk about it. And then I could do it from the other rig. Because I really don't. We're already 45 minutes into this um this live stream. And for us to get into that conversation right now, people are going to be lost watching this later. So. I'll give you that to Sunday. Or now you got to tell you to say go like we cover. Everybody losing money, bro. Did you hear about Tom Hanks? All them dudes is all tied in, bro. Them dudes is pedophiles, bro. All of them. But since they got money, that hush money, nobody talks about it, bro. Nobody. There's a lot of documentaries on Jeffrey Epstein. A lot of shit. That dude was a sick bastard. Nigga had a whole island. And from what they were saying that was on that island is like crazy shit. Like, Kidnapping little kids Sacrificing them that Shit is sick bro Adrenochrome Shit is weird bro Them dudes is weird yo I did see that The Woody Cause he's a character of Woody And showed the uh, boxes of like Uh Kid Uh was it The diapers and shit Yes. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's just, oh my God. It's crazy because it's like, bro, this is like real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit's happening in real life. Like, this ain't no movie. This is real life shit happening, bro. Elizabeth, I just told you. You go to my page. You go to the top where it says community. You click on community. And the links are there. Trump was on that island too. Where's the proof? You gotta show me that one. See, I'm the type of nigga, I run on facts. If you ain't got the facts, I ain't trying to hear it. I should Yo, that Fall of Cabal is crazy That's another one, that 10 part series Oh my god, that shit breaks down everything, bro That's another one y'all gotta watch Yes, that shit right there that cabal shit, oh my god. The deep state, oh my god, bro. Not on my phone, I have to go on the laptop. Mm. Yeah, you're gonna probably have to do that. How old is your phone? Mm. They trying to kill the economy. They trying to crash all this shit. That's the crazy part. On purpose. They trying to hurt this shit. So we got one one currency. One more order. Yeah, watch it, please. So Sunday we can talk about it. I need everybody to watch that. They real short. 45 minutes. One, The other one's an hour. Like I said, y'all motherfuckers be on Netflix all day. Take the time out. Watch these two docs. You're not going to regret it. Uh... For the people who didn't watch 
those, watch those today. I'm going to post two more. The reason why I didn't post the other two that I wanted to post yesterday or the day before that, um, the reason why I didn't post them is because I had a feeling nobody was, like, not that nobody was going to watch it, but they would get confused on what I wanted them to watch. So I'm going to post the other two things I want you to watch. I have the I have the 11 Pro Max. Excuse me. Oh, so that 11 Pro Max is dog shit because you can't even see what the fuck I'm telling you to look for. Let me stop. This dog shit though. I'm not even gonna hold you. The media been mad at us, but now they trying to transition to, you know, YouTube and Twitter and all that stuff. Nobody watches TV no more. I don't even watch TV like that no more. You know what I'm saying? Every time my TV come on, it's when my NBA is on. Other than that, don't care for it. Watch what docs? The docs that I posted in my community tab. Check them out. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. You're definitely going to love that shit. Matter of fact, I don't want this stream to go too long. In like 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to get up off here. I want you to watch that shit. I want to post the other two videos that I want you to watch. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you right now. Those two right there. No more. Alex Jones and Mike, uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Those ones I'm going to post. Y'all got to watch those. Those shits right there are going to wake you up to everything else, bro. Shit is crazy. The CEO of YouTube is insane. She's sitting down with the video people. I know. Because they don't want you, they don't want you to uh, know this information. There was a video I... I I posted on my social media yesterday showed uh, what I was telling everybody because they were like putting articles, CNN was putting articles on these uh, supposed nurses and doctors who stood in the middle of the street to stop the protesters from protesting saying, oh, uh, stay at home while we work, this, that, and the third. I said, this shit is staged. I know these are fake doctors and fake, um, fake nurses in the street. Fake nurses, fake do fake doctors in the street. And they're like, why would they fake that? This, that, and the third. So it comes to find out some girl posted up on Facebook. She actually witnessed the shit on Facebook Live. They're staging a freaking uh, 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 thing. I'm going to show y'all, man. I just can't get, I ain't going to talk about it. I'm going to just show y'all. They staging shit. And I said, I told y'all people. People called me crazy when I said it. Now you over here bugging, star. No, you bugging. You sound like, you sound crazy. Comes to find out. Hold on, let me show y'all. Hi. It was staged, look. Hi. Y'all can see. What's this flag say here? Check it out. It's definitely not. Oh, oh. They're staging a flag. And that's the shit that these reporters do, man. They fucking pump out fake news to get more clicks and to keep on putting you on that and that and that and your feelings, your emotions about the situation. They don't want you to think no other way. They don't want you to think that there's a, a, a another window to get out of. They just want you to keep looking at this window. And it's stupid though. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this is what I'm saying. People don't wake up. Like, how many of these stage shits you gotta watch and and see and go through? Before you wake up. Like, this shit happened with the Boston bombing. Same shit. You understand what I'm saying? The fake... Sh uh, 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 
the fake assassinations at those churches, like that shit was all staged and it's fake. Like and people still don't wake up. You know what I'm saying? Like people got short term memory. It's crazy. Everything's fake. Crazy. And this is what. What you saying, man? So what? I was right. You follow me on Facebook. He stood in front of the car for like five seconds. Yeah, it only takes like one second for you to get a good picture on the camera. But my homegirl called me crazy. I'm telling you, I, I got it from everybody. Yo, you're really going crazy. You really going crazy? I'm like, how am I going crazy for pointing out the obvious that y'all not even looking at? And this was last week when that when that shit started coming around that 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 them photos of them doctors and supposing nurses. I'ma tell you why I caught on to this shit being fake. Because if those are real nurses and doctors, they would have ID badges from their hospital. Every doctor and nurse has that on their hip or on a on a on a on a string, right? That was that was already the red flag. Two, if you're a doctor or a nurse, where the fuck did you come out of nowhere with a sign? You're supposed to be saving lives. Your hospital's so busy. How you had enough time to make a sign and go outside? And it's the two these are two unique things that nobody looks for, but everybody wanna fall for the story. I even had people talking about they cried for those nurses and doctors that were in the middle of the street because like Oh my God, they're dealing with people being sick. And on top of that, you got stupid protesters, protesters trying to tell people to leave their house. I'm so emotional right now. And it's like, bro, it's fake. I had people delete me from that shit. I said, it's fake. How's it fake? You look stupid right now. I don't know. All right, cool. That video came out. I said, yeah. who looks stupid now? Who looks stupid now? Didn't I say that? Guess how many people responded under that video? What happened, people? Y'all said it was real, right? Why y'all not in the comment section? Why y'all not letting this trend? Oh, oh, because we don't want to look stupid now. Come on, bro. Of course Netflix is going to push something to save their ass because the documentaries that are flowing through there showing what, what's really going on, they know people are waking up to their bullshit. So they need to re-inject bullshit into people's minds so they could go back to sleep. You know what I'm saying? But we already woke. We're not, we not with the bullshit, man. I wonder what Bill Gates is going to do about the million of people. Yeah, people are on it. Listen, my whole thing is that I want for us, the people who are onto the bullshit, that we do not lay down for shit. If it comes down that these people try to inject us, where we have to unite. Separated, we no good. But we have to unite. If motherfuckers try their hardest to chip us, or whatever it is, we have to stand strong. We have to stay together. Because if we do show vulnerability, it's over. Whatever woke shit we was on, you can forget about all that. Throw it out the window. Because it's going to be forced upon you. We speak with our money. We speak with our voice. We speak through our phones. We got to show up. You know what I mean? We got to show up. We got to show up. You know what I'm saying? You're going to start, though. All right, bro. Yo, take it easy, bro. Check them shits out, bro. They're pretty good. I'm going out guns blazing. Facts. Like DJ Av, he can't stand the fact that I'm talking like this. He's like, yo, bro, but you letting that shit all up. You can't control that. Yes, you can. People is power, bro. How you think I found founding fathers, you know what I'm saying? Fought for this country, bro. They stood there and fought for this shit. They fought for their rights, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, we don't lay down. I don't know what that means. Who said it was fake, bro? Who said it was fake, bro? Don't come in here with that corny shit. Yo, I 
Chan. I said the numbers was fake. I never said the virus was fake, my nigga. Go back and check it. I said those numbers they pumping out was fake. I said that from day one. I'm still saying that shit. The numbers are fake. You need facts on that too? Let me give this nigga some Snapple, Snapple facts. Come on, bro. I'm telling you, I'm putting no words in my mouth, nigga. Check this out. Since you since you don't do no research, let me let me plug your ear with some shit you need to hear. Hold up. Clear alternate cause. But Check this out. At the same time. This went down the other day. Even if you died of a clear alternate cause, but you had COVID at the same time, it's still listed as a COVID death. So um, everyone who's listed as a COVID death doesn't mean that that was the cause of the death, but they had COVID at the time of death. I hope that's helpful. And if you died of a clear alternate cause, but you had COVID at the same time, it's still listed as a COVID death. So um, everyone who's listed as a COVID death doesn't mean that that was the cause of the death, but they had COVID at the time of death. I hope that's helpful. I played it twice so your dumb ass can hear it, nigga. Didn't I say that? Fuck out of here, nigga. Nobody ever said the shit was fake, my nigga. I said the people that they put marked as dead was fake numbers, my nigga. The fuck out of here with that bullshit you spend. Individual liberty. Like, for instance, my, I call her auntie because she didn't see me grow up. She was telling me about her having, like, chest, her chest was hurting and shit. I said, fuck, let me go to the hospital. She went to the hospital. You know, they tell her, oh, you probably be having a heart attack or whatever. They put it on EKG and all that shit, check her out. So then they said, oh, you want to get tested for COVID or some shit? And she says, fuck it, why not? She said the minute they tested her with that shit, she started feeling funny. Like an hour later. You know, they had in the hospital for a while. They're going to come back and tell her she tested positive for COVID-19. She ended up getting the shit. And she said, I got that shit because of that kit. I said, yeah, because the shit was contaminated. That's why I tell people, do not, if you, if you broke anything in your body, do not touch no hospitals. Try to figure out a way to cope with that fucking uh, 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 injury on your own. Whatever they try to cope with on your own. Because they literally trying to kill y'all motherfuckers. You walk to the hospital, they're going to kill you, bro. Don't play with that shit. She dead ass caught that shit. She was telling me today, I, I could call her. So I, I, listen, I'll call her tomorrow and ask her if she could explain the story on live for y'all. I'm telling you, bro. She was just telling me about this shit today. And she's like, yo, that's the reason why I'm watching all your shit that you're posting on fucking Facebook because it makes sense to what the fuck happened to me. They out here killing people, bro. All that shit contaminated, bro. That's why they had to look for another alternative, which is the swab. But that shit's still not going to work. All that shit's contaminated. You got to understand, these doctors aren't changing the gloves after every fucking, uh, 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 what you call it, after every testing. They keep the same gloves on and testing people with them shits. Like, I'm telling you, there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of bullshit going on. Where's the dude that said, I said it was fake? Where you at, fam? I just show you facts that they said that they faked those numbers, bro. Where you at? Hey, when niggas come in here trying to talk spicy, like, fuck out of here, nigga. Because my thing is this, right? Let's put it like this. What happened to the numbers of people just dying from natural causes? Why that shit is plummeted? Them shit is all down. Heart attack, asthma, diabetes, cancer. Nobody dying from cancer no more? Why is everything going down but Corona's only shit going up, bro? Doesn't make no sense. And like I said, to these idiots, like this dickhead nigga that just came in here, they don't look at the numbers. They don't even do research. They just see what the media tells them, and it's a dub. You get what I'm saying? Is they believe in whatever the media tell them. Sheeps. What we call sheep. Where do go? He did. I already know he did. Talk all that spicy shit. I'm talking and fucking leave like a little bitch.
1984 population to kill to go I knew two hours I was chilling numbers don't add up I'm a numbers nigga and if the numbers ain't adding up there's something wrong bro men loud women loud numbers don't those numbers is not it the test kids are getting people with virus that didn't even make no sense my nigga Nigga said the respirators are killing people. <laughs> I give up, bro. What the fuck is this? Uh. We did with the ball. They said we gotta get rid of the sheep. Now the thing is, they want to wake up the sheep. Cause when they go get these motherfuckers, they wanna they want motherfuckers to understand why these people are locked up. Cause they did it right now. There's gonna be protests as a protest to release these people because these people don't understand it. The sheep don't understand. They only understand what the, what was taught to them. You know what I'm saying? Elizabeth, don't listen to that nigga. The respirator is not killing people. What's killing people is their immune systems. What's killing people is, again, the the lack of taking care of yourselves. A lot of motherfuckers don't take care of themselves. And that's what happens when you don't take care of yourself. Who's hungry due to the coronavirus in here for me? Will most people, homeless people and crackheads be dead by now? Ben said that, bro. Everybody don't listen, bro. So I said people catching this shit, but it's people, it's people that, that are going to the hospitals and getting scared. Because I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lot of stupid asses that you're saying, <clears throat> oh my God, <clears throat> my throat. <clears throat> I gotta go to the hospital. I might have COVID. And you be, be totally fine. Niggas forget that it's flu season right now. I mean, not flu season. Um, Allergy season right now. And it's like, bro. Now you just went to the hospital and got yourself infected with this shit for real. And now you scared to death. You know what I'm saying? The machine is to help you breathe, my nigga. The reason why they put you on a ventilator is because you can your, your lungs are so filled with mucus. And you, I'm asthmatic. I know how this shit works, my nigga. They put you in a in, in a on a ventilator to help you breathe. Again, nine times out of ten, you probably won't come off this shit because your lungs are gonna be so filled with bullshit. That it can't fight it off. That's why you try to give you these medications. It's obvious that medication they're giving these niggas is not working or they're not giving them the proper medication. The ventilator is helping you stay alive, but once you pretty much own that shit, is a 50 50 chance you're not gonna get off. And that's why you pull the plug on your ass. That's why when they ever act, when I go to the hospital and I go for like asthma, they ask me, "Have you been? Ever, have you ever been intubated?" That's pretty much the ventilator. It's helping you breathe. No, I've never been intubated in my life. Thank God. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, everybody's scared, and I get it. Like I get it. People are afraid, but you gotta understand. At some point, you got to think, wait a minute, there's something wrong here. Let me do some research. A lot of people don't do that shit.
Smash some Wendy's. No more, no more fasting, my brother. Yeah, I'm light toast, so I can't really drink any any milk anyway. So it's just overall in general, though. But this is what I'm saying. This should be a wake up call for a lot of people, bro. Look at the way you live and look at this shit you eating. What are you gonna do to change your lifestyle? A lot of people don't even look at that. You know what I'm saying? I gotta fuck with Alex Jones. He's been spot on, bro. And Dan Bongino, I was introduced to today. Even though I've heard of Dan Bongino for a while, but I heard those two. Well, I know about Alex Jones, but Dan Bongino heard he's a troop, so. No, but Alex Jones, for instance, look at how they did Alex Jones dirty. They banned that nigga from any media platform, any media outlet, because this nigga was spitting, spilling the beans on everything going on. And they had to hush him. They said, we can't kill him because we kill him. They're going to know there's something wrong. But we got to hush him. They made him look like he was a crazy man. And they pretty much banned him off, off of every fucking media outlet out there. Why? How you ban somebody off of YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all that shit? How you ban somebody? That's crazy. Yeah, they banned the shit out of him. Now you tell me, again, think about it. They banned one man. Again, uh, the agenda out there was he's crazy. He's talking on his ass. He's all you want media, media, and, and why? Cause he's spitting facts. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they trying to do the David like right now too. That's another dude spitting straight facts. You know what I'm saying? They trying to hush him. They actually took down mad videos of him that I watched last month alone. They took down mad videos. Why y'all why y'all hushing these people for? David Like is the truth, bro. He said everything word for word that was gonna happen with this coronavirus before it even happened. And I'm like, oh shit. That's what made me go hand with these with, with. Remember when I first showed y'all that shit? Remember that that one Sunday that I was walking around? And I said, yo, something ain't right. And I was spitting shit that he spoke about. And I didn't even see or hear about his shit until that day. And I was so hyped. Like, oh, shit, everything I was thinking. He said it. I posted the shit. And ever since then, i just been informing myself. Because there's so much information out there, bro. It's crazy, man. Honey, what's cool? So much information out there, man. It's crazy. But it's just sad that you got to really... Like, dig. It's not something that's going to be on Front Street because they're trying to hide this shit. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, but I'm definitely going to, um... I'm definitely going to post that, um... I'm going to do it right now while we here. So hold on. I'm going to do that right now. Thanks, right, y'all. I'm going to post those two videos I want you to check out. Matter of fact, I'm going to put the Alex Jones one first. Copy. I'm going to put the Alex Jones one first because that explains what how dirty they did that man, bro. They did that man dirty. Post that one. And then we're going to go video like. I like watching it over because it's like, it, it just really, like, it really wakes you up, man. Bro, I don't know how to fuck with that Zoom shit, man. Maybe you know more about it. You can probably help me out, bro. I want to do a Zoom. That'd be dope to sit y'all down. We can have like a real dope, in-depth conversation. Word. That'd be fire. Let me post this other shit. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, I fucked up. Put it twice. I forgot I could put a poll. And what I could do is on the poll, I could ask y'all if y'all watched it. And then, um, yeah, hold on. Fuck. I deleted it. I put it, two, I put it twice. Hold on. So I just, I just put them up. I put both of them up. 
check them out. I'm going to watch them again so I can refresh my memory with those two. But the people who didn't watch the other, the other two videos I posted the other day, Out of the Shadows and The Unseen Enemy. Yeah, my iCloud is filled. Check those out if y'all ain't watched those yet. After y'all watch those, please watch these next two. It's very, very, very dope shit, man. Been spinning fast for years. That's fact, yo. But I definitely want to get a zoom because I want to. I want to chop it up with y'all, man. I want to chop it up with y'all. But I'm about to get up off this. Um, check that out. Uh. I wish there was a way we could do like a viewing party. What well, I can't cause YouTube be on some bullshit. I ain't trying to get this channel blocked. But um I'm about to get up off this. You gotta check out those two videos. Yeah, man. You already know. Check those out, man. Fox, what's up, man? Check those out. I'm gonna fucking see what's up with this edit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to create another channel, man. I know I keep saying that shit, but it's like, what's the one, Saturday? Friday, no, Saturday. If I don't go out to work tomorrow, I'll, 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 I'll make the new, um, no, I have to go out to work tomorrow, at least at least a few hours. But I'm gonna I'm have to make the other channel. Cause like I said, I just gotta separate this type of content to what I'm trying to push with my channel. So I gotta make another channel. So if you have some ideas for some names for a new channel, we could definitely, definitely work on something. And we could grow that shit together. Cause that should be dope. To pump off some shit like that. Ooh, that should get. Anyway, we'll get to that. Go watch those videos. Y'all take it easy. Have a good night. Be safe out there. And um, yeah, don't fall for the bullshit. Y'all take it easy. Peace.